I'm done shaking. So. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a first time viewer, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. So today I'll be showing you a simple do-it-yourself test to know if the hair you are buying is a real hair or a fake hair. Maybe a vendor told you that the hair you are buying is a real human hair. So you want you just bought the hair and you want to confirm yourself at home. Or if you already have a hair at home, you can run this test to confirm if the hair you have is a real hair or a fake hair. And you can use this test to have a knowledge of this kind of hairs in case you want to buy hair next time. I perform this test today. I have two hairs. Yes, two hair and a brush, a match boss. So First, I'll have to brush out those hairs. This is my first hair. I'll brush it out. So just like this, can you tell if this hair is a fake hair or a real hair? Can you tell? Can you tell if any of this hair is fake or real hair? So the first test to perform is the burning test. So I'll be running the burning test on these two hairs for you to know if the hair is fake. So for you to know which of the hairs is fake and which of them is real. So first step, after brushing the hairs. So to perform this test, I'll be needing a strand or a piece of those hair and this hair. So first I have to cut out my hair. So look at the first hair. I have to cut it, cut out the part I need. So, look at it. Cut out those parts. Cut out a little bit of the hair. This one is much sure. I just want to let show you. It's my second hair. My second hair. Cut out a strand from this hair too. I have to cut out the colored part so that you know the difference. The next step is to go to the burning proper. For this burning, you need fire. Yes, you need fire. You can use a lighter, a candlestick, or a match boss. For this test, I'm using a match boss. So the first thing is to, I'll be starting with this hair. Raise the hair up. To avoid it burning you, once you place the fire, I put the hair on the surface. Then do the same thing for the second hair. So, notice how this hair burns. Look at the first hair and look at the second hair. So the first hair, which is my real hair, it burns like ashes. It turns to ashes. Just, just like your natural hair will burn. It will burn and turn to ashes. It will burn and turn to ash. Look at it. It turns to ash. Look at how it burns. Look at it here. Look at how it burns. It turns to charcoal like ashes. Like a real human hair. If you want to try, try your natural hair you have on your hair. And see how it burns. And confirm it. Then the second hair. Look at it melts. Look at how it has melted. Can you see this? Which is to show that our first hair, the black hair, is the real hair. So any hair that burns, when placed on fire, it burns like ashes. It burns and turns to ash. It's a real hair. But any hair that melts, is fake hair. Yes, it's not a real human hair. So you can perform those tests on the hairs you have or any hair you are trying to buy. You just need to cut a piece of the hair. And place fire on it yeah, and confirm the shaking test. The okay, what if you see this hair? It's looking so well straightened, very, very fine. And you are in doubt, you cannot perform the burning test. And you are in doubt if the hair is a fake hair or a real hair. And you really, really love this hair. The next step to perform, the easiest step to it's perform at that moment I'm is the shaking out. test. So, so I have my two hairs, this and this. The First, the test to do is to shake both of them. So I'll shake them now. Now, 
Now, after shaking the hair, try and see if you can run, if your finger moves freely inside the hair after shaking it. If your finger can run through without tangling or any strong tangling, confirm if your finger can run through without the tanglings being so hard. Yes, confirm if your finger can run through. Just run your finger through it before brushing it. See how easily my finger goes into this hair. See? My second hair, let's try it. I have to run my finger before brushing it. So, you see? You see how hard it becomes? I can't, my finger can't pass. I have to exert force to ensure my finger passes. That is one other test to perform. You have to exert force. In fact, your finger won't be able to pass. You have to use the brush for this hair to brush it out. That is one easy step on a hair. Yes, if, this, if your finger can pass freely after shaking the hair without having strong tangling, it is to show that the hair is a fake hair and not a real hair. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, please share, like, and leave a comment. Thank you very much. I'm see your girl, Victory. You can follow my Instagram page, Vicky Touch Hairs and More, to see the amazing hairs I have for you and to see so many amazing products I have for you.